right, Marlene, welcome back. Really appreciate you, and uh, we look forward always to having you back on our channel, Mr. America Heart over here. And so, listen, I had this great idea, and I hope you're down with it. Uh, I know that a lot of the uh, uh, viewers to my channel have asked about you and asked a lot of questions about how you stay young, how you stay vibrant, how you stay you know, excited about life in general and working out, all of it. So I thought it would be kind of cool if you can give us and me, Jim, everybody here, and the viewers, five wisdom nuggets on how to stay young and vibrant. Why don't we start with number one off the top of your head with no preparation. Go ahead, Marlene. What's number one? Keeping fit. Okay. Eating properly. I think all those things really give you endurance, make you feel well, mm -hmm. and... Uh, inspires you. I, I think fitness is everything. Right. Uh, I live in a building with people of my own age and most of them are walkers and I don't want to be in a walker. I don't want someone helping me to go to the bathroom to get me down on, on, on a bathroom. Um, I want to be able to move on my own. Right. So fitness is the key. Okay, it's number one. All right, give us another one. What else would be Ooh, number two on your list uh, of things that are keeping you young, vibrant, and exciting. Young men. <laughs> Ow! What? I think, I think being with people younger than yourself right? uh, stimulates you, inspires you, makes you feel whole and together. It's, it, it makes you feel beautiful. Young men. Yeah, young men. Young men. How, how young are we talking about here, Marlene? Well, 15 year difference. <laughs> <laughs> well, embarrassed. Well, Jim just qualifies. Jim just qualified, okay? I know that he's 15. There's a 15 year difference, right? Yes. Between the two of you. That's awesome. But I don't think there is a difference. So just hanging out with somebody who's just vibrant themselves, you'd yes. say? Yes, and, and he... He's smart, he's kind. I don't think age really has anything to do with it. I think it depends on the individual. Wow, wow, that's awesome. That is awesome, it good is. one. So we have fitness. We have hanging out with younger people. Yes. What would be number three? Keeping, uh, always keeping active, uh, joining different groups to, if it be art, if it be tennis. Just keep moving your body. If you don't use it, you lose it. Mm. Mm. So uh, you can't lie in bed all day. Get a hobby? A hobby for me is uh, art, drawing, acrylic painting. Well, maybe you can take a picture of some of those and share them with the I, viewers I would, here. That would be great. Right. In, in running, I run to the aqueduct, Right. Uh, which is uh, three miles there, three miles back. Right. Um, so those things are all important to me, I and mean, I may be tired, but it's a good tired. Right, right, right. Okay, so we got, we have fit lifestyle. We have hanging out with people younger than you. We have uh, having a hobby, right? Right. A regular hobby that you really enjoy doing, right? You Absolutely. don't do it because it's labor. No, no, no. It it, it calms me. I'm I'm uh, I have anxieties, and it brings me down to an even keel. Right. So tell me this, that's three of them right there. Is there anything that along the way you could think number four? Yes, eating uh, vegetables. Oh. Like string beans, cauliflower, uh, yellow uh, crookneck squash, uh, things uh, from beets, salads, uh, kale, uh, uh, spinach. So I take it you're not a super high protein individual, but you do eat lots of vegetables. Well, I also eat lots of chicken and, and fish. Oh. I eat salmon and fish consistently. So it sounds like whole foods, not a lot of supplements, but whole foods. The, yeah, no, so I don't like supplements. I don't right. want any additives in my food. I have almond milk or uh, Something of that nature. I, I used to drink 2% uh, milk, mm -hmm. um, then I changed it to almond milk. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I started getting, um, and I was eating cottage cheese and yogurt, and I was having um, problems, stomach problems. Oh. 
So I was thinking that I was latex, uh, not latex. <laughs> <laughs> lactose. Yeah, lactose intolerant. <laughs> Oops. Latex intolerant is a whole other thing, yeah, okay? Uh, it's another story. <laughs> so, what? I mean, what would be... <laughs> Marlene, give, yes. give us number five before we go. What would number five be no. on your list? Saying, man, you're not supposed to talk about the latex thing. <laughs> sex. It's what? Like, I, sex is very important. What? Yeah, you can't be dormant. Dormant? Dormant is a good yeah. word, yes. Yeah. Hibernating. <laughs> it's it's important. It it, it gives you um, makes you feel young, and it keeps you young. Wow, wow. So is this <laughs> seven days a week will work? <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> uh, you get his mother shouldn't see. This. Jim, your mom can't watch this video. You hear me? <laughs> Wow, you're, you're, you're hitting us with the big time, the, the grand slam right there. He's <laughs> hiding His friends. He can't show this to his friends. All right, Marley. <laughs> Seven days a week, is that right, huh? Well, we'll go five. Five days a week, and that's the ultimate <laughs> on our number five list. <laughs> yes. I, I believe that's true. I think it's very important. Well, that was a surprise. That was really a surprise. You must feel strongly about that. That's cool. I do. Oh, wow. All right. Well, Marlene, thank you so much for coming on by and dropping us five wisdom nuggets. Is there anything you'd like to say to our viewing audience before we sign off? I think everyone should uh, do work. I think everyone should work out to some degree. They don't have to do it seven days a week but they should do it because it will keep them young and, and uh, their body parts moving. Yes. All right, thanks so much, Marlene. Thank we you. love you, we'll see you soon. Okay, be well, everyone.